Hello, welcome back to the We Are City channel and welcome to our end of season roundup and our, of course our end of season rewards. So this is how the Premier League did finish. Manchester United finishing top of the Premier League with 97 points. Us in second with 94. That game against Southampton really did crush us, didn't it, in our, in our title race. Uh, Chelsea and Liverpool make up the top four. Wolves down in fifth. Then it's Leicester, Spurs, West Ham, Everton, Brighton into the top ten. Then the bottom sort of ten are still in there once again with Villa and Southampton, Fulham, Watford, Palace, Newcastle. And the three relegated from the Premier League were Brentford, Burnley and Nottingham Forest. Top goal scorer in the league was Mohamed Salah with 26 from 38 games. Rashid with 25 from 38 Griezmann for 20 for West Ham as well, so he did well, and Kane got 19. Leon the lap level with Harry Kane, 19 goals in one less game. Top in assists was Manchester United, Jadon Sancho with 12 in 38. Sterling and De Bruyne both got 11 each in 32 and 33 games. Phone up there as well with 9 in 30. And clean sheets wise, Edison got 19 clean sheets in 36 games, so congratulations to Edison. And uh, we hit our quota there, didn't we, of hitting the clean sheets. So the winner of the Community Shield was, of course, us a 2-0 win over Spurs on pretty much the opening day. The FA Cup, that was won by Liverpool. They beat Wolves 2-0 in the final. They beat Spurs on the way. Wolves beat Crystal Palace. Interesting. So Liverpool, winners of the FA Cup, they will play Manchester United in the Charity Shield next season as winners of the Premier League. And the winners of the Carabao Cup were Liverpool again. So Liverpool, you know, they cleaned up the domestic cups. Manchester United won the Premier League, of course, we won the Champions League, winners of the Champions League against Spurs, English clubs doing pretty well, 3-0 on penalties we won against Spurs, and the winner of the UEFA Super Cup was Manchester United, they beat Barcelona as Europa League winners, and Barcelona beat us as Champions League winners last season, they beat Barcelona and Manchester United in the Europa League, the winner of the Europa League was Borussia Mönchengladbach beating a fellow German side, Leverkusen in the final, they beat Lille on the way, and Leicester City got all the way to the semi-final this time. So other leagues around the world, Leeds and Sheffield United will be promoted back into the Premier League next season. And it's between Swansea, Stoke, Bristol City and West Brom to decide who else comes up into the league. And PSG have of course won the league and with 104 points, didn't lose a game, 33 wins and 5 draws. AS Monaco, Lyon and Montpellier make up the top four. Nowhere near PSG are they? Onto the Bundesliga. Bayern Munich win the Bundesliga as expected, 77 points, Dortmund, Leverkusen. Dortmund weren't that far behind them really, but still, we expected Bayern Munich to win the, the Bundesliga as we always do. Serie A now, and Juventus win the Serie A, Napoli and Inter up there, Inter in second, Napoli in third, Lazio fourth, Milan fifth, and look at that one, Parma in sixth, congratulations to them, they've done really well, AS Roma down in tenth, very, very poor from AS Roma, but Parma up into 6th place, what a season they've had. The end of his A was won by Ajax, 76 points, PSV with 75 and AZ Altmar with 71. Ajax still dominating Dutch football. As a Portuguese football league, Nos Benfica finished 2nd, it's Porto who pipped them to the title by 2 points. Sporting up there as well, but FC Porto, champions of Portugal this year. On to La Liga and Atletico Madrid win La Liga, 90 points, I think they won it last season as well, didn't they? Barcelona in 3rd. Real Madrid in second, Sevilla away off them. Them three all tight at the top, but it's Atletico Madrid that win the competition this time. Champions of La Liga. So now into the squad stats for the season. And first appearance-wise, Liam Delat was our most used player this year, which I'm surprised by. 56 appearances Liam Delat made for the club, and he got 25 goals and 4 assists. That is a really good return in his debut season at 22 years of age. Raheem Sterling, our second most used player, 50 games, 17 goals and 11 assists. Edison, 49. Foden, 49. And our least used player this season, I think, was Luke Mbete. And Luke Mbete still played 19 games, actually, which is good for him. Schmeichel, actually, no, played less, 16. Bissouma, 25. But they still played a decent amount of games there, didn't they? So, as we said, Liam Delap, top goal scorer this season with 25 goals. Raheem Sterling, our second best goal scorer with 17 in all competitions. Ferran Torres got 16. He was out for three months as well and still got 16 goals in all competitions. Foden with 15. What a season he had. Uh, Phil Foden in front of goal. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne with 12. Almada there with 10 and Felix with 11. I mean, Felix had missed a lot of the season through injury, didn't he? And Almada um, also got injured toward the end of the season. But what a debut season he had. Kaiki got 8. Awa 6. Saka 3. Laporte 3. Stones 2. Bissouma got 2. Lamptey 1. 
Rice one and Bete one. Hernandez got himself a goal. Sorry, Cancelo. And that was all the goal scorers. As for assists, I think Kevin De Bruyne is top, isn't it? With 20 assists. Phil Foden in second with 17. Look at the season. Phil Foden's had 15 goals and 17 assists. Sterling got 11 assists. Felix 10. Kaiki 7. Bit of a poor season from Kaiki. Expect him to, you know, progress a little bit more. But he has picked up a few injuries. Awa with 6. Saka with 5. Torres with 5. Almada 5. Delap got 4 from playing as a striker. Looks like James McAtee got 3 while on loan at Aston Villa. A player that looks to be ready to play in the first team next season. We've got Stones with three assists as well, Rice with three, Rodri three, Cancelo two and Hernandez two. These two haven't really been pulling out the numbers they were picking up in previous seasons, have they, from fullback positions. Bissoum with two, Aresti got one at loan at Newcastle, who's 77 rating now, the 20-year-old. Even Casper Schmeichel got an assist. Pereira also, Diaz, Lamptey and Edison, he got an assist as well. And topping clean sheets, I assume will be Edison. It is Edison got 24 clean sheets in 49 games, which is not that bad, actually. And our highest overall rating, average rating, is Kevin De Bruyne. He got a 7.5 average rating across all games this season. In second place was Phil Foden with 7.4. So, really good results there. And, um, of course, we will look at the objectives for the season. If we completed the objectives, our personal ones, we didn't complete a lot of the ones that the game set us. But they were odd ones, like sign certain players and so on. But also, we need to do our end-of-season awards voted by you guys. So, let's get straight in. To all that. So on to the end of season awards and this is where you guys have voted for three awards this season for season four. Our most underrated player of the season, our young player of the season and our overall player of the season. Let's find out who's won the first award which is the most underrated player of the season and you guys have voted for for his second season in a row centre-back Ruben Dias as our underrated player of the season had a fantastic year at the back for us and probably saved us plenty of times in situations hasn't he and congratulations to Ruben Dias for winning that award and deserve it there you can see the vote below and now on to the young player of the season award and a player who's in, in you know including this is a player that you guys really do like a player that I've got high hopes for at Manchester City in the future and he's proved it in this year's career mode it is Liam Delap. Liam Delap smashed it out the park from everyone else winning the Young Player of the Year award. You guys voted for him in numbers, really did vote for him. And now on for the Player of the Season award, and it's a double whammy. Liam Delap wasn't finished with Young Player of the Season award. He deserved lots of accolades, so we put him in for Player of the Season as well. And after all those goals he scored, Liam Delap also wins our Player of the Season. What an award for him to win a double whammy here at the award ceremony, and what a season for this young man and someone to look out for in season five which is coming very very soon let's just say it's only a day away thank you very much for watching we'll see you guys next time